This is your Fox 47 News Flash. Welcome to your Fox 47 News Flash from the Digital Newsroom. I'm Chris Lewis, and these are the top stories that we're following. Governor Gretchen Whitmer has signed two executive orders amending Michigan's Safe Start order and issuing revised workplace safeguards, according to news releases sent from her office. Under Executive Order 2020-160, beginning July 31st, statewide indoor gatherings will be limited to 10 people. Capacity for outdoor gatherings can have no more than 100 people and will remain at 250 people for Region 6 and 8. The order also says bars in every region, including Region 6 and 8, will be closed for indoor service across the state if they earn more than 70% of their gross receipts from sales of alcoholic beverages. Under the order, the governor's office said Detroit casinos will be allowed to open back up on August 5th at 15% capacity. Casinos must also conduct daily entry screening protocols for customers and employees and temperature screenings. The governor's office said patrons must wear a face covering except while eating or drinking or for identification purposes. Whitmer also signed Executive Order 2020-161, issuing revised workplace safeguards. You can read the full executive order for those safeguards on the Fox 47 News website. Mayor Andy Shore announced on Wednesday that the city of Lansing has installed a fit lot, which is an outdoor fitness park. The outdoor fitness park is located just north of Rotary Park on Lansing River Trail near downtown Lansing. The fit lot features an exercise bike, stair stepper, hand cycle, and chest and back press. It was purchased by the AARP on behalf of the city. As Shore said, there are major plans to offer fitness programming at the park. The city of Lansing continues to show its commitment to ensure that Lansing is a place for young professionals, families, and seniors. Installing this facility near a senior community and apartments contributes to furthering Lansing as a city. The College of Music at Michigan State University announced a new video series. The series is titled Music for Social Justice. Following the tragic passing of George Floyd, faculty members felt compelled to speak out on issues of inequality. Music is the common thread. As of now, nine episodes of the series have been filmed. All the episodes feature new performances by MSU artists with brief commentary on the importance of music. The series will premiere on August 12th. The first video will feature University Distinguished Professor of Jazz Bass and Director of Jazz Studies, Rodney Whitaker. New performances will then be released every other week through early December. Videos will be posted on the college website and shared via social media. The coronavirus has changed all of our lives, and many people don't know where to turn for help. That's why Fox 47 News WSYM-TV created Rebound Mid-Michigan. Everything you need to get back on track in one convenient place. From dealing with stress to unemployment to helping put food on your table, plus ways you can lend a hand to others in your community. Rebound Mid-Michigan. Everything you need to get you through these difficult times. We may have fallen, but we will rebound together. Visit fox47news.com forward slash rebound to learn more. For all of our local high school seniors, we know that their senior year has been different than usual, but that doesn't mean that we shouldn't celebrate their accomplishments. That's why Fox 47 News created the Senior Spotlight. It's a way for anyone to share a video shout out or upload a photo of a special graduate that deserves recognition. So go to fox47news.com forward slash grad to upload your video or photo today and let mid-Michigan graduates know how important they are and how bright their future truly is. Learn more about all of these and all mid-Michigan's breaking news on fox47news.com.